You're thinking of a whole I, other thing. I think the insulation is going to take like an hour. It's not going to take an hour. It is. You're just going to go shoot, 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 like the little shapes. You're just going to cut the little shapes out what, with a knife. What Disney World land do you live in? <laughs> Hey, trash holes but seriously uh, we're cleaning the skin today which is very very tedious <laughs> uh, I think Dave can tell you how much he likes cleaning the skin it's like poking the eye it's better than the poking the eye maybe just barely so the really tedious aspect is cleaning off all the old silicone caulk that they shouldn't have used in the first place on it because it's not very effective but what does work well on that is goof off. And I think I saw this on another YouTube video a while back where a guy was cleaning silicone caulk off of a camper. And you kind of just spray it on, let it sit a little bit, let it work, and scrape and scrape and scrape, and it'll somehow breaks the seal and it comes off. Um, so I've done that with this edge, and it's, I mean, it looks pretty rough, but I would actually say it's pretty clean. At least clean enough for what we're going to need it for. So, we're going to keep on cleaning. And hopefully get to a point where we can start putting some skin back on this puppy. I know you look at this and you think like that's not clean it's got all that old paint on it we're gonna deal with that once it's actually back on the camper uh, this was about cleaning out all the old staples and the um, getting the butyl tape off getting the uh, silicon caulking that they put on and off and we've done that uh, the passenger side is done now and uh, we can move on to whatever the next thing is there you go, you watered the weeds there. Hey everybody. <laughs> Hello! So, <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it. Anyway, so coming at you today from our stairway because it is like 40 mile an hour wind out there. Uh, so, not great for recording audio. But today, we're gonna try to do some insulation and get a little bit of the wiring in the um, passenger side taken care of so that we can start putting some of the skin back on that side. Dave's out there cutting styrofoam right now. Connie's going to take care of our wiring in the camper. She's done all of our other campers. She does a great job. Most of the wiring that we're doing in the camper is going to be 12 volt, um, which is different than your normal household 110 volt, uh, but it'll allow us to run off of a battery. Our fan is 12 volt, our lights are gonna be 12 volt, uh, and we're gonna have a couple of 12 volt outlets as well. We will have a 110 service panel and a couple of outlets for occasions when we could be plugged in, um, but most of it's gonna be that 12 volt system. So. Today, what Connie's going to run is the 12 volt wire for the porch light. Uh, and that's really the only electrical on that side of the camper, so it uh, shouldn't take very long.
Okay, so we've got our shore power, uh, our, our shore power breaker box. We've got the wiring for the under cabinet light, the wire for our fan. Um, you can't see it in here, but there's a wire that goes over here to our porch light. And then we've got uh, back there is our reading lamp, I guess you call it. And then there's the wire for the under, um, the under cabinet light that goes over the dinette. And then these are all of our other wires that are going to, uh, there'll be a couple outlets on either side of this lower cabinet. There'll be a water pump and our connections to our um, power converter box and battery. What's really hot is to have solar power. And I think that would be great to eventually have, but from my understanding is solar power, unless you have a whole lot of it, does take a long time to charge those batteries. So it's not like we could just pop a couple panels up and be good for days and days and days. Uh, and there's not a lot of real estate on the roof of this little camper to put solar panels. Uh, but I have seen some pretty cool ones and the technology gets better all the time and cheaper. So that may be a future upgrade. But if you have a little camper like this and you're running solar power in it, you know, leave us a comment below and uh, let us know how it goes because I'm interested in user experience there and uh, learning more. I certainly am not an expert on solar power, so um, every little bit of information helps. So today we're going to test out our wiring from last time and make sure the connections are good. And we're going to try to start putting the skin on the passenger side. Oh, oh, oh. Now the dog's like, what the heck? Okay, so then we're going to tack it here at each one of these studs. Now I'm going to start in the middle, I guess. To both ends. Okay, next piece. So we got this one section done. Didn't quite get the whole side, but uh, it came through pretty good, pretty even. Tomorrow, we're gonna finish the skin on the passenger side, and we're gonna work on some insulation on the driver's side and getting the skin ready to go back on over there. And that's probably about it. So we use the window to locate where this panel is, which then lets us locate where that panel is. So put the window in on top of this one, and then tack that one in, take the window back out, take this panel out, uh, tack down that edge, put this panel back in, tack it around, you know, and it's so on and so forth. But the, uh, the window has to be right here so this panel has to be right up against the window. So since, since you know those things, you know if you have all of that located together, you know where it all needs to go. Make sense? Hmm. 
Okay, just one last double check. Not that I can do anything about it at this point, but it's always fun to know that you did it correctly. Nice tight fit. Okay, so we finished attaching the front of the passenger side skin today um, and we cleaned off all of the skin for the other side, cut a bunch of insulation, got it put into place, and uh, that was it for today. Uh, it's going to rain quite a bit tomorrow, so we're going to be off for a day and then it should be nice weather again, so we'll be back at it shortly. doesn't fit. It fits. Sort of. So these, these should be the last staples on this side. 